Siamo qui con Ginger Lapid Bodga, una insegnante, coach, che ha fatto training con le 500 più famose aziende americane. Ginger oggi è qui a Milano per un seminario basato sul coaching, l'obiettivo è il coaching, con le tecniche dell'enegramma. Quindi ora faremo alcune domande per capire questo uh, innovativo uh, sistema di dell'enegramma, come viene integrato nelle attività collegate al business. Ginger, welcome here in Italy. Thank you so much. So, um, for our Italian audience, we have a, a lot of interest about the enneagram and the, all the work you've been doing in the, with the most successful companies in the United States. Um, can you uh, tell us what have you experienced throughout the years with these companies in terms of uh, uh, business growth and uh, success? Well, I think what's been most exciting is that the Enneagram not only helps individuals in the organization become more effective in their jobs, but they also see all the possibilities for using the Enneagram to um, make their home lives and their personal lives even more effective. So usually what happens is people learn about it at work and it makes a big difference at work, both their individual performance, their individual career development, but also their ability to work effectively in teams because they understand where people who are different from them, what motivates these other people and what maybe was annoying before, is actually interesting now. But they also bring it home, and so like their spouses learn the Enneagram, and their, often their children do, so they get very excited about it. It's also a really amazing way to help leaders develop, because it's very hard to know how do you really develop an excellent leader that can take the organization more than a year or two into the future. And the Enneagram helps them develop sort of the core self-mastery and other leadership skills that are related to being able to uh, drive for results or know the business or lead high-performing teams, that sort of thing. So it's a fabulous way to develop leadership. So you actually say that you, you start from a business setting, a business point of view, and then the, the, with the Enneagram, every participant expands its, its, its world and its capacity. Exactly. In their lives. I mean, why would an organization just use anything just for uh, because it's really interesting and helpful to people in their own personal lives? I mean, most organizations need a, a business reason, a business purpose to embrace any kind of a approach to um, you know development. So, um, and then that makes sense. I mean, people can do their personal growth on their own. But a lot of people who uh, get exposure to the Enneagram in their business, they, they, I always hear this, I can't believe this company cares enough about its employees to allow us to, ex to experience something like this. I would have done this on my own had I known about it, but I wouldn't have even known about it were not for the organization. So it built a kind of a commitment and loyalty you know, amongst the employees. So what, why do you think the Enneagram is that, that valuable uh, compared to uh, other techniques that have been uh, used uh, in the companies? Well, I think for one, it's really accurate. So people say, this really describes me and it really helps me understand others really well. Um, another is that it's a development-based approach. So once you know your Enneagram style, then, and you know the area that's in the work that you want to grow in, there's specific development activities for each style to develop certain aspects of their professional uh, capabilities or their personal styles of work. So it's very effective and it's very efficient. You know, it gets the job done really well and it takes much less time, actually. So I think it's just, you know, it's kind of a respectful system. And when taught properly, it's very non-judgmental. Like, 
each of the nine types, no one type is better than another type. It's we all have strengths and gifts, and we all have areas where we can expand and develop. So it's very kind of um, doesn't scare people into thinking, oh, I'm a, I'm a bad type, or oh, you know, I'm a good type. So do you have any uh, story that you uh, can, can easily explain and let us, our audience, understand um, from, um, from the starting point uh, to, uh, to, to the finish point? Something that can be um, more uh, understandable uh, for people to see the advantages of this. Well, one comes to my mind as you ask that question, but it's actually uh, a story about two people. So in one of the organizations um, that uses the underground, there's a, a man who is a like very, very high level, like extremely high level scientist, uh, a brilliant man. Mm -hmm. And he's an enneagram style that tends to not be very revealing, um, at least until he gets very comfortable with people. So he, we were at a program where um, he had come as part of a panel talking about the contribution of the Enneagram at work. So somebody in the audience asked him, so, you know, there isn't, the Enneagram's usage in organizations is rather new, so there's not so much research on its effectiveness. What do you think about that? And he stood up, and very unlike him to do that, you know, because 70 people, and he doesn't know them, and he goes, let me tell you something about research. So I'm a scientist, so I know research, and you can make research come out any way you want to, depending on what you do and how you analyze it. So I'm less interested in the research on this than I am in the effect of this. And Minnie told this story. He's an executive vice president, which in the US is like right below the president, but in this particular position, it's a really, really, really important job. So, so I'm an executive vice president, and there's another executive vice president. We've been working together for 20 years, and we couldn't stand each other. And this was a problem because I'm in charge of one part of the organization, and he's in charge of quality. And the two of us should have been able to work together because it's very important, but we couldn't stand it, each other. But we were both learning the Enneagram. And one day, we happened to just start a conversation. He came into my office, and we were talking about it. And he said, in 20 minutes, once we discussed the Enneagram and our types and how it had affected our relationship, in 20 minutes, 20 years of not liking one another, which was mutual, just dissolved. And now we're actually close friends. That's and we work together really well. That, that, that's just amazing. It is an amazing story. It is. So out there, uh, getting along very well now, or? Well, one of them retired. Okay. And the other one um, is still very, very, very active and very strong and keeps getting promoted, although there's not, he's so high level, there's hardly any more promotions to but that also happens very interestingly in like three or four major companies that are using the underground. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, we're seeing is that some of the people who are really embracing the underground because they're growing so much, they're skipping and being promoted several levels above what they would normally have gotten. Um, it's almost astounding. Two, no, several. Like you several. know, maybe you know, in three, six months, nine months, you get another level, and then another year, you get another level. And these people are being skipping two or three levels in six months because their growth has just been so tremendous. How many years have you been uh, teaching with the end? Let's see. Well, I got a, a 19, around 1994 is where I first got exposed to it. And then, but I had a background as an organizational consultant for many, many years before that. So it was actually um, easy for me to integrate into my business consulting work. And then um, I, I decided to write a book, how to use it in business applications because there were a number of books already about the Enneagram, really good ones. And there was actually, there were like one or two really good books about business Enneagram, but they were more descriptions of how each of the nine styles tends to behave in a business setting. 
but not about how to use it for growth and development. So because I had all this organizational behavioral science background, I was able to integrate the Enneagram and the Nine Styles with really effective models of how to improve communication, how to improve giving feedback, how to you know, increase team performance. So that's okay. Uh, now we see the in the Enneagram has uh, nine different um, numbers. Right. So what do you, what do you usually tell those people? Like, yeah, I'm not a number. I'm I'm a unique person. I'm just myself. So I don't want to be categorized into with the number. Okay. So what I say to everybody, even people who say that, is never think of yourself as a number because you are way more than that. And when you learn the Enneagram, don't think of other people as numbers. Think of people as people. However, when you learn the Enneagram, it helps you understand the, the core patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving that go with each of the nine styles. So it gives you really great insight into yourself first and then into others. Now, I think your question is, what about people who are skeptical? Correct. And I would say I was the most skeptical person about personality systems. You can hardly meet a more skeptical person. And I just happened to go to a program on the Enneagram because it was just by chance. So at first I was skeptical. I thought, ooh, the people are talking numbers. And then after a while I thought, let me take a, another step back. Maybe let me see if it has, if it has value. And, it, and then I was like totally stunned by how accurately it seemed to describe me and other people. So I always say that to people when there's people who are skeptical and when I teach them, I go, I want you to be skeptical. You should have all those questions because it'll mean that if you, you'll either um, confirm your skepticism or you'll open up to the possibility and usually the people who are the most skeptical are the people who like it the best. That's great. They're the ones who use it the most. So um, uh, basically how, do, uh, how do, does it work? I mean, do people find themselves for you, uh, you guide them through this, uh, uh, this knowledge? Well, I think it really is important for people to learn the Enneagram system and identify their Enneagram type through the guidance of a teacher or instructor who knows the Enneagram well. Because, um, and there are numbers of people all over the world who do know it really well and can teach it really well. Uh, I think that's a much better process than taking an, an online test. There are online tests, but they can give you, uh, because it's a test, it doesn't really, there's nobody to talk to to say, what does this mean? or gee, I don't know if I'm more like this or like that. The test is just a test. So it can give you some guidance, but it can give you potentially a false um, idea that maybe you're like this or like that and get, give you a false um, identification of your type. So then sometimes people think, oh, I must be like that. Or they don't get a type that this, they think fits them and they go, well, the Enneagram isn't any good, but it's really through an instructor who can answer and address your questions and say, well, are you, yes, you know, so these two Enneagram styles do uh, do some similar things, but they do it for different, different motivational reasons. So what, you, know, you do this, like you work really, really, really hard, for example, but what drives you to do that? Is it more like this reason or more like that reason? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ginger, for sharing all your knowledge. So, and last question is, um, what would you uh, tell to the Italian audience, like entrepreneurs, managers? Uh, what would you be uh, your the best uh, advice? Learn it for yourself first, and use it for your own development, because. If you're an entrepreneur and a leader, it, it, there's, I don't think there's a better way to do it. Um, and the higher up you go as a leader in an organization, the less people tell you the truth. Because you are the leader and they may be concerned about you know, telling you things that are, even good things, 
the underground can be kind of a mirror back to you, but when people in your organization see you using it for your own thought and seeing you growing and being open and responsive, and they're going to be much more uh, open to using it themselves. But if you're a leader who goes, this is good for you all, but I don't need it, then people are going to say, well, why, why not him or her, the leader? Why only us? So, um, you have a website, how do we uh, get in touch with you? Well, if you speak English, because unfortunately my website is only in English, but it's uh, the, T-H-E, Enneagram, in business, dot com, and it's got a lot of information about the Enneagram, the system, how it's being used in different industries, in different business applications, and also in different countries and various parts of the world. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Ginger, for your time, for your attention. Da parte quindi Lepos ringrazia Ginger la Vodka che è stata qui con noi oggi al Corso di Milano e siamo sicuri che qualsiasi domanda voi avrete potete chiederla direttamente a noi. Grazie ancora.